Question 81.17. Questioner, then Ra has knowledge from the first beginnings of this octave through its present experience and what I might call direct or experiential knowledge through communication with those space times and time spaces, but has not yet evolved to or penetrated the seventh level. Is this a roughly correct statement? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 81.18. Questioner, why does Ra not have any knowledge of that which was prior to the beginning of this octave? Answer, I am Ra. Let us compare octaves to islands. It may be that the inhabitants of an island are not alone upon a planetary sphere, but if an ocean-going vehicle in which one may survive has not been invented, True knowledge of other islands is possible only if an entity comes among the islanders and says, I am from elsewhere. This is a rough analogy. However, we have evidence of this sort, both of previous creation and creation to be, as we in the stream of space-time and time-space view these apparently non-simultaneous events. Question 81.19 Questioner we presently find ourselves in the Milky Way galaxy of some 200 or so billion stars and there are millions and millions of these large galaxies spread out through what we call a space. To Ra's knowledge, can I assume that the number of these galaxies is infinite? Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is precisely correct and is a significant point. Question 81.20 Questioner, the point being that we have unity. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. You are perceptive. Question 81.21. Questioner, then what portion of these galaxies is Ra aware of? Has Ra experienced consciousness in many other of these galaxies? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 81.22. Questioner, has Ra experienced or does Ra have any knowledge of any of these other galaxies? Has Ra traveled to, in one form or another, any of these other galaxies? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 81.23. Questioner, it's unimportant, but how many other of these galaxies has Ra traveled to? Answer, I am Ra. We have opened our hearts in radiation of love to the entire creation. Approximately 90% of the creation is at some level aware of the sending and able to reply. All of the infinite log are one in the consciousness of love. This is the type of contact which we enjoy rather than travel. Question 81.24 Questioner, so that I can just get a little idea of what I am talking about, what are the limits of Ra's travel in the sense of directly experiencing or seeing the activities of various places? Is it solely within this galaxy, and if so, how much of this galaxy? Or does it include some other galaxies? Answer, I am Ra. Although it would be possible for us to move at will throughout the creation within this Logos, that is to say, the Milky Way galaxy, so called, we have moved where we were called to service, these locations being, shall we say, local and including Alpha Centauri, planets of your solar system which you call the Sun, Sepius, and Zeta Reticuli. To these sub we have come, having been called. Question 81.25 Questioner, was the call in each instance from the third density beings or was this call from other densities? Answer, I am Ra. In general, the latter supposition is correct. In the particular case of the Sun sub logos, third density is the density of calling. Question 81.26. Questioner, Ra then has not moved at any time into one of the other major galaxies. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 81.27. Questioner, does Ra have knowledge of any other major galaxy or the consciousness of anything in that galaxy? Answer, I am Ra. We assume you are speaking of the possibility of knowledge of other major galaxies. There are wanderers from other major galaxies drawn to the specific needs of a single call. There are those among our social memory complex which have become wanderers in other major galaxies. Thus there has been knowledge of other major galaxies, but to one whose personality or mind, body, spirit complex has been crystallized the universe is one place and there is no bar upon travel. However, our interpretation of your query was a query concerning the social memory complex traveling to another major galaxy. We have not done this, nor do we contemplate it, for we can reach in love with our hearts. Question 81.28 
Questioner, thank you. In this line of questioning I am trying to establish a basis for understanding the foundation for not only the experience that we have now but how the experience was formed and how it is related to all the rest of the experience through the portion of the octave as we understand it. I am assuming, then, that all of these galaxies, this infinite number of galaxies that we can just begin to become aware of with our telescopes, are all of the same octave. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 81.29 Questioner, I was wondering if some of the wanderers from Ra in going to some of the other major galaxies, that is, leaving this system of some 200 billion stars of lenticular shape and going to another cluster of billions of stars and finding their way into some planetary situation there, would encounter the dual polarity that we have here, the service to self and the service to others polarities. Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 81.30 Questioner, you stated earlier that toward the center of this galaxy is what to use a poor term, you could call the older portion where you would find no service to self-polarization. Am I correct in assuming that this is true with the other galaxies with which wanderers from Ra have experience? At the center of these galaxies only the service to others polarity exists and the experiment started farther out toward the rim of the galaxy? Answer, I am Ra. Various logwa and sub logwa had various methods of arriving at the discovery of the efficiency of free will in intensifying the experience of the creator by the creator. However, in each case this has been a pattern. Question 81.31 Questioner, you mean then that the pattern is that the service to self-polarization appeared farther out from the center of the galactic spiral? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 81.32. Questioner, from this I will assume that from the beginning of the octave we had the core of many galactic spirals forming, and I know that this is incorrect in the sense of timelessness, but as the spiral formed then I am assuming that in this particular octave the experiment of the veiling and the extending of free will must have started, roughly, simultaneously in many, many of the budding or building galactic systems. Am I in any way correct with this assumption? Answer, I am Ra. You are precisely correct. This instrument is unusually fragile at this space-time and has used much of the transferred energy. We would invite one more full query for this working. Question 81.33 Questioner, actually, I don't have much more on this except to make the assumption that there must have been some type of communication throughout the octave so that, when the first experiment became effective, knowledge of this spread rapidly through the octave and was picked up by other budding galactic spirals, you might say. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. To be aware of the nature of this communication is to be aware of the nature of the logos. Much of what you call creation has never separated from the one logos of this octave and resides within the one infinite creator. Communication in such an environment is the communication of cells of the body. That which is learned by one is known to all. The sub logwa, then, have been in the position of refining the discoveries of what might be called the earlier sub logwa. May we ask if we may answer any brief queries at this working? Question 81.34 Questioner, only if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. It is difficult to determine the energy levels of the instrument and support group. Of this we are aware. It is, however, recommended that every attempt be made to enter each working with the most desirable configurations of energy possible. All is well, my friends. You are conscientious and the alignments are well. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the infinite creator. Adonai.